Hey parents, uh, happy Teenager Tuesday. Welcome back to week three of Sports and Jesus. Um, again, please like, share, send this to a lot of parents, send this to coaches, um, whoever. Send this to people with uh, teenagers because, man, we have a lot of stuff that I think is just so good, just sound bites that you can listen to on your way home uh, from work that make you better parents and, and helps your family as a whole too, uh, which hopefully will be a resource for you. Um, if we haven't met, my name is Will. I'm the lead student pastor here at Hope. And with me once again, final time that you'll ever be. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, final week of this series, yep. in Jesus, is Nate Stuckey. How's it going? Hey, Nate. Hello. Hey. Dude, today was a good day. Today is a good day. Today is my, uh, me and my wife's three-year anniversary. Nice. But I decided to yeah. spend it here with you talking yeah. about sports and Jesus. We're going to be here the whole day. All day. I don't know. Did you, do you have anything planned for the anniversary? Oh, yeah. We, uh, so when I proposed to her, it was at a Perry Steakhouse. So we, Ooh. every year for our anniversary, we head to Perry's wow. Steakhouse. Yeah. Oh, I, you which, know, are you a part owner in, Will Perry? I wish. Okay. But I've never actually eaten there. Oh, really? I'm a big steak guy. Oh, it's really good. But and never, I had wedge salad. The I'm what? Red salad? Wedge salad. Wedge. I don't know if you like blue cheese, but. I like toast and tolerant. Oh, dang. Yeah, okay. It happened. But happy anniversary. Yeah, thank yeah. you, baby. And <laughs> some of y'all might know uh, his wife. You probably recognize her. Like, she's on the worship team. Yeah. Uh, she moves around to campuses. She's at East, uh, Frisco East, quite a bit. But, yeah. Yeah, she's most commonly described to me as uh, she looks like a Disney princess. Yeah, and she acts. She's so happy. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's super happy. She is Disneyland just walking around. That's true. Yeah, it's so, great. It's yeah, great. Absolutely. Uh, well, hey, we're going to jump into this. Um <clears throat> Just a quick refresher. We've, we've we've talked a lot about identity, um, about filling in that blank of uh, make sure you know have the conversations with your student that they're not a basketball player who is a Christ follower. Put that blank at the end after Christ. Like I'm a Christ follower who blanks. I'm a Christ follower who works. I'm a yep. Christ follower who is involved in sports, band, whatever. That yep. Christ comes first, let everything flow from that identity. Yeah. And then last week we, we kind of identified two things about – um, their sports team, sports environment, again, wherever they are involved, yeah. um, that it can be a great mission field and it can be an opportunity for Christ-centered community. Um, they are Christ followers that they probably work with, play with, uh, what, practice with, you know, that they can have those conversations and start to learn how to have Christ-centered community as an adult because we know this, you got to work to find it and, no and to get to it. Yeah, you know? that's great. Uh, so we talked about those two things. Today we're going to talk about four very practical ways um, to somewhat answer that question of balancing sports and Jesus not choosing, be- not having to choose between church and sports, but we'll even talk about when you do that. So uh, what's uh, number one, Nate? So first thing we have for you is to add spiritual intention to games or practice. Mm. Uh, man, prayer, just, just as people, as Christ followers, is such a thing that can bring us back to who we are. We're talking about identity. Man, I wish it was as simple as saying like, no, that's who I am. And you never uh, kind of veer off from that or struggle. But but man, even things like praying together beforehand or after yeah. or day of a game, something yeah. like that, uh, taking some time and just being intentional about things that are spiritual while surrounding sports. Yeah. Like with that being such a big part of their life, the more they can associate <laughs> Uh, sports and prayer, sports and Jesus, that that kind of helps them put together that yeah. identity, at least yeah. you know, from, it, from what I've talked to parents. For sure. And it sets up you as a parent, it sets you up to be, to have another place where you're spiritual authority. You for know? sure. It's kind of one of those things of like, like don't, um, I have a friend who says, if you want to have conversations at 15, start to have them at five. Mm. So it's the idea of, I mean, start earlier. The earlier you can start on being a spiritual leader, yeah. um, the, the, the more that is going to pay dividends over time. The, the more when they're 25, when they're 35, they're going to see you as a spiritual leader because not only have they seen you in, in the word and in, in scripture and stuff, but man, you led them. Mm. during those times, even when they couldn't be at church. Yeah. Because even on the best of days, we can't be at church every day. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, no way. Yeah, but you're there every day I'm as used, the parent. I, uh, yeah, 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 for sure. You're there with the student. I thought you meant you're yeah. there at church every day. Oh. I was yeah. like, no, you also probably aren't. I mean, we are. Yeah, I mean, we work. Wait, not, not, well, not most Fridays. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're off Fridays. Yeah, we're out. I'm sleeping. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, okay, what's number two, Will? Yeah, what's so number two, yeah. so there are times, number two is prior, is finding those times to prioritize church over sports. Yeah. There is a limit to that. And I do think there's uh, a time. I I would say the first thing to look for is looking for an X uh, to mark the spot of of 
being in a church building, uh, being a part of a church home group, you know, high school group or something, and X being at the middle of the X, being where uh, two things cross. It's the student's availability with a church's availability. Mm. And hear my heart on this. If you go to Hope, but student times don't work for your student's schedule, then man, there's a lot of great churches in this area. And I would, I think we have an incredible student ministry. I'm very biased about that, but <laughs> yeah. um, an incredible church. And But what I know is, man, there's a lot of churches out there that have students on a different night or they have home groups or there's something like a, um, a K Life or you know what Young Life. Yeah, that there's so many Christ centered community places, Christ centered churches that do things mm. that if there is a time that works better for your student, I would it is you would rather this too as a parent. It is better for them to be involved somewhere than nowhere. Totally. So find somewhere. That would be the first thing I would say. Find that X marks the spot. You're like, oh, this is where they, their avail- availability with a church's availability is. Um, and then I would also say, like, man, if if you look at their schedule and they're trying to work, they're trying to do sports, they're trying, they're trying, they're trying, they're going to fail in some area if they're being stretched too thin. And as a parent, I would encourage you as a parent, don't make that place that they're not going to be able to succeed in be church. Yeah. There is prioritize something and, and not just attending, but being a part of the community somewhere with some people, you know, it takes a village, you know, this, it takes a village to raise a child, right? Long time cliche, which is so true. So man, find a village and hopefully that's hope. If it's not, find a place that works. Totally. Um, Cause man, something in that, in that case, something is just so much better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it sacred. It's good, man. Yeah. I think it's great. The, the third one that we were going to talk about is, is asking questions that speak to the correct identity. So like, yeah. if, if you're on the same page with your student about this, that like, like we're looking for uh, an identity that says I'm a Christ follower that participates in these things. Like how much are we talking about? spiritual things versus yeah. sports because it's so easy yeah. right to be how to practice go like how did you play today how was the game what'd you think what'd your coach say and those are all great things right but like also if we want to like make sure we're showing them in this it is ultimately about Jesus or your relationship with Christ and we're in sports as a part of that man I think it's great to ask questions like what is your time with Jesus like lately yeah like what like when what's your prayer life look like right now like how is that going or, or who do you see as like a, a spiritual leader on your team is that yeah. something you feel like you're kind of stepping into or is that something you're seeing in someone else like what does that look like for you finding a way once again to just kind of bring these two topics together yeah. and blend them together so that um, we aren't just saying, oh, you need to be Christ-centered, but all I want to talk about is how'd you play today? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and you can even add Christ to those questions. Sure. Like, what do you think Christ has for you with softball? Yeah. What do you think the purpose of God having you have a passion for football? What do you think that purpose is? That's great. Because then you're, you're still asking about those things because maybe they think like, man, I do want to play college. It, it's even better for them to think maybe God wants me to play college. Yeah. You know, because it's a, like James 2 talks about not going to this and such town and just thinking like you can do whatever. Like James 2 talks about, man, ask if it is the Lord's will. And, right. And tweaking that question is can just help so much with that. Yeah, dude, that's super good. And, and also like another thing you see in sports is high highs and low lows. Like great. You might have a game where you hit the game winner and that's exciting. And you might have games where you really struggled or, or missed a big shot. Like, where does Jesus play into our life when we have high highs and low lows? Yeah. Like, like what does that look like spiritually for me? Yeah. Uh, what does the Bible say about hard days and difficult days? And what does yeah. it say about great days? You know, uh, there's so many ways to – like, there's so much life that happens in sports that you can so easily attach it to things that are spiritual and true. Yeah. Even if they're, like, true outside of sports. Yeah, for sure. Sense. Yeah. yeah. And, and like we've said in the other podcast, band – work, 100%. anything. I yeah, think yeah. these are principles that can be applied to whatever your student's hobby is. You know, yeah. we just get, the, when we did a survey of like, what do you want to talk about? Jesus and sports was like right at the top of those. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one last thing, and this is an encouragement, maybe a challenge even, and then we're going to sign off. Um, but it's simply lead by example, lead by example. Um, how much do you talk about Christ being uh, your identity 
at your work. Yeah. You know, at, in your profession as a realtor, as a salesperson, as a teacher, as a nurse, as a whatever. Um, like how much of, of your conversation, uh, we know this. Students will not replicate what we say. They'll, they'll what we are is replicated. Yeah. Who we are is repeated. Not, yeah. not what we say. It's not monkey say, monkey do. It's monkey see and then monkey do the thing yeah, that yeah. we see. You know? Yeah, yeah. So like, how much, how visible is that with your student? And I know sometimes parents can kind of shy away sometimes because mm-hmm. they don't want to be pushy. But man, I, I would love to just encourage you. Don't let the enemy say you're being pushy when really you're you're being the spiritual example. Yeah. Like find find that balance, find that uh, position. Yeah. And uh, man, find that balance with sports and Jesus. Make church a priority. Um, maybe make a different church a priority or a Christian organization that your student can be in Christ fellowship in a small group with other students. Yeah. Um, man, make that a priority and ask. I love those ask, ask identifying identity type of questions. And man, be the leader that your student knows you are. Yeah. That too many parents, too often we doubt. Mm. We can be good at this. No parent ever feels like they're a good enough parent. Yeah. So don't worry about being a good good enough parent. Be a godly parent that just says, I'm going to do this anyways. So good, yeah. dude. Love so, it. Signing off, we love y'all. And if there's anything we can ever do, let us know. Um, as a reminder, you've got this. You can do this. God is with you, and so are we. Have a great week. Yeah.